Hi, and as you can tell from this beautiful packaging, I have got another mix and match box unboxing to do and to share with you. I am so excited to see what Lauren's picked for me. This is going to be Go For It number 16. So I hope that you stick around and join me for Go For It number 16 on my mix and match box. get started in my new mix and match box just a quick outfit of the day so today I have got on from mix and match these uh, red and black polka dot jeans I just love these when I first opened the box and I saw them I was like "Ooh, these are these are not for me and I put them on and it just it just makes you feel young and vibrant and just fun so I am loving these jeans I've got on the uh, white moto jacket from Liverpool also from mix and match I just have on a black top from, from, I think it's No Boundaries, from Walmart. Some white slip-on sneakers from JCPenney. And the necklace that I'm wearing is probably about 10 years old. It's uh, from Leah Sophia, from a lady I used to work with that was always having parties. So, it was just casual Friday, not too many people around at work. It was mostly three people there today. I was one of them and anyway so this is my outfit of the day and uh, let's get in to see what I got in my new mix and match box hi everyone I'm Nancy welcome to my channel I am so excited to see that you're joining me again tonight so you can share my mix and match unboxing and so anyway I just did one maybe just over a week ago I got some of the most beautiful dresses in there I, ju I just you know when you're losing weight and you're just so unsure of yourself and what you look like and I know some people thought that I should keep the dresses that were absolutely gorgeous I love them I just didn't feel comfortable in them and maybe that's how you are when you're losing weight and you're just not really sure how things really look on you and you look in the mirror but you see what you look like before in the dress and I don't know it's kind of complicated so anyway I think I made Lauren feel bad and I really feel bad about that sorry Lauren she's my stylist at mix and match and she does an incredible job for me so anyway she got another one right out to me so I am really excited to open this and share it with you and if you are not familiar with mix and match it is a gorgeous clothing subscription I really love this subscription um, you get for the one that I get I get the go for it box so the one I get is like between six and eight items I have to keep five of them to get a 25% discount um, they also have another one called the take a chance which I believe you get maybe between two and four items for $105 and change the minimum value on that is $175 so that sounds like a great one too and if you're really not really sure what you want to do with would do with it they have a like a just a take go for it box but just a, like a single box so you can do that for a $25 styling fee the $25 of course is, is applied to anything that you purchase and you can just get that once or you can just uh, say you're just in the mood for it every three or four months you can do it that way the go for it box when you sign up for it it's a three month plan that they'd like you to do which costs five dollars a month for your styling fee that styling fee is applied to anything that you purchase and after that three months if you wanted to continue with that you can still do that for the five dollars a month so we went over this the last time that i thought this was a birthday card but it was not it's just how the paperwork comes so inside this envelope you are going to get your prepaid mailer which you are going to mail back anything that you don't want or if you need to exchange it for a larger or hopefully smaller size they go through the you know ups which i love going through ups i have much better luck with ups than the usps and i've got to pick up almost every day at work so i can just take the bag with me and my carrier will drop it off um, so I got a note from uh, Lauren here so I'll read that later and she's got the items that she's got listed here and probably why she sent it and then this is a copy of the invoice and I always say I'm going to take a picture and sometimes I remember and sometimes I don't 
but I will try to remember to take a picture of this later. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine items in here? No, eight. So I got eight items in here and um, the total of the box. My glasses are so dirty, I can hardly see. It's $360. My uh, discount of 25% would be $90 off, which would make the total of this box $270. So for eight items, that's not bad at all, but I'm ex more excited over the prices. I'm excited to see what I got. It's always like getting a present when you open the box and you see this gorgeous tissue paper, and they've changed it a few times since I've got it, but no matter what they do with the color ribbons, the tissue paper, it's just always so welcoming and so pretty, and I just love this. And like I said, I've got Lauren, and she has done an incredible job for me, and I'm already falling in love with one of the things that I see as I open this. Alrighty, so let's get the tissue paper out of the way. And this is I see some beautiful colors in here. Loving this. So this first item looks like it is probably a blouse. It's a size medium. I'm trying to see who makes it. It's from Spotlight and it's $39. So it's a sleeveless top. And it's got this animal print and it's coming out kind of wide on camera but it's some nice rich tan color and some some black, maybe some mauve colors in there. It's got a little yoke in the back and some gathering right there. It looks like uh, some elastic in the front, so a little bit of a high-low and like a mock wrap. Or maybe it really is a wrap. So excited to try that on. Next, ooh, looks like I got another skirt. Like I said, I just didn't wear, didn't usually wear skirts because I couldn't I'm just not really good at putting things together sometimes or I'd get skirts that would fit in the hip but then they didn't fit in the waist so they just would fit funny and if they fit in the waist they didn't fit in the hip. So hopefully Lauren does a better job for me than I do for myself. And this is by Lily. It's a size large and it's $34. And it looks like a midi length skirt. It's got a back zipper and it's got this flounced hemline and I really like the details like this. I did get some dresses like this before with a nice flounced hen line and it just kind of gives something a little bit of fun, a little bit of movement. So excited to try that on. Next I think we have another blouse and this is by Lush and it is a size small and it's $34. It's a beautiful kind of like a fuchsia shade. It's coming out kind of purple but it's more like a fuchsia. Maybe it's kind of like a dolman type sleeve. I'm not sure on that. And uh, goes down to a V. Looks like it's got a, goes up in the front with a little, little knot right there. So that makes it a little bit of a high low. And again, it's not this purple. I would love that purple color too, but it's a really kind of a bright fuchsia color. And next we have on a naked zebra. I think this is a top. The size small and it's $32 and it is a beautiful like a navy shade it's coming out kind of like a royal blue but it is a navy and again this one kind of looks like that wrap style it does have a it is attached right there it's got short sleeves Like it might be lined in the front it just maybe it's just a heavier polyester or something it's got this little yoke in the back and then a little pleat going down there very pretty color next we have I think this is a dress so this is a dress by Jilly it's a size small for $46 and it looks like it's one of the, the high-low dresses so it has the uh, higher hemline in the front. Looks like a kind of like a the wrap style. And the wrap in front. And just a little tiny sleeves. It's pretty, it's got black, it's black and it's got kind of like some apricot in it. Some gray, so that looks pretty. 
and we've got another Jilly outfit. This is a medium, and it's uh, forty-two dollars. Alrighty, I think this is good. Well, I think it's fine. We can get a little inside out. Well, it is a beautiful shade here. It's got some nice flowers on it. All right. Maybe I should put things on hangers first. So it's got a nice V in the front, a V in the back. It's got that flounced hemline. It's got some beautiful flowers here with some nice purple shades. So it looks like maybe it's a navy dress and some purple flowers with some green leaves. So that looks like it should be really pretty on. Just uh, little short sleeves. And next we have from Pinch, I think this one is a blouse. This is a size medium for $49. It's a beautiful, beautiful teal shade. Beautiful embroidery details right here. And another V. And then it's got this uh, gathered right here some gathering so maybe it, when it's on it kind of looks like a peplum style but anyway that is a beautiful color loving that I think I'm loving these pants already uh, this is from Liverpool and these are the Reese ankle leggings the size 6 for $89 and it's camo so it's more like uh, the olive with some brown and some black in there. So I am excited to try those on. Alrighty, Lauren, you did another fantastic job for me. It wasn't that you did a bad job for me last time. It just I just wasn't comfortable. So anyway, I'm excited to give these a try on, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back with the first item. So I have got on the Liverpool, the Reese pants. They're in a camo uh, print legging with um, brown and olive and some black designs in it. They're size 6. When you look at them from a distance, they really, they feel good. they got a nice fit up around the top. A little bit of extra material in the back. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but in through here, they are a little baggy. So I think for leggings, I'd like to try these in a four. And I know that just sounds kind of outrageous because I've never been a size four in my life. But these might, maybe they just run big. But I am loving this print. I just put them on with some black booties because I didn't know what to wear with them. I don't know if you wear sandals with uh, camels or not. But anyway, I am loving these. They feel they feel good. They look right. I just think I need to size down to a four. So I will be right back. So I am feeling like I'm from the Roaring Twenties. So I've got on the uh, lush top. They, they are calling it bright purple. It's a dolman style with a V-neck. Got a little front knot here. So it's got a high low in the back. I think this. I forgot if it was 34 or 39. And I've got on the Lily. Uh, midi skirt. It's got this uh, flounced hemline. It's got a little kick pleat in here and it does have like a half slip under it so it so it is half lined. So the skirt is well probably can't see because of a black TV in front of me but anyway so anyway skirt is large. This is a size small, uh, the top is. It's a dolman style. I did put a cami underneath because it is a little low for me. Again, it is oversized, I think, because it is a dolman style. It is a pretty color. So I might try this maybe with some pants or some jeans later on to see if I like it with that. The skirt, I think it's a pretty skirt, but um, it is too big for me and like I said, I'm not always good at pairing skirts, so I don't always grab for them when I go shopping. But let me grab something else and I will be right back. All right, so I am back with the Jilly dress. This one, I believe, is $42. It's in navy. It's a size medium. 
It's got a little flounced hemline, so it's a navy background. It's got some really gorgeous purple flowers and some green leaves. It's a nice length, I think, for me. It's uh, right at the knee. It does go low. Um, at first I thought maybe it didn't go down too low. I mean, it feels tight. I mean, it's not going anywhere. But I just put that under just for a little bit of modesty. For the summer, I would probably wear it with this, with a jean jacket. But again, it is pretty. It's a pretty shade of navy with the purple flowers. It's a size medium. I think it's snug, but I think it fits okay. It's got a little bit of a V in the back. Again, that flounced hemline. I just paired it with a pair of uh, black pumps that if I was going to maybe wear this into the winter and fall and, and uh, otherwise just the uh, summer espadrilles. Alrighty, so let me know what you think about this, if this one looks like it should be a keeper, because I'm thinking it should be, and I will be right back. Alright, and this is the other ghillie dress. This one, I believe, was $46. It's black with a multi-print. It is a, a wrap. It does have a tie right there. It's a high-low. This one I would probably wear with a black jacket. I did keep the uh, cami on underneath, but I might switch it out for the black one does go low and again this one is a small so it is a little bit snugger uh, the sleeves fit good but right right in here is where it would be tight but other than that i think it is a a good fit i think it looks okay so let me know what you think and again i've been looking at like spanx or shapewear but i haven't bought any yet so that could make all the difference in some of these dresses so let me know what you think, and I will be right back. All right, and now I have on this pinch top, uh, top by pinch, it's a size medium. I believe it was $49. Got the uh, longer hem on the side. I don't know if that's called a shark tooth or a shark bite, but um, so it's a little higher up in the front. Got a V in the front, V in the back. It is a beautiful, beautiful shade of teal. On these straps going up, I don't know if my camera's going to show it or not, but it's got this detail right here, a little bit of embroidery type item. It is kind of low on me, so I did keep that cami on. It's got this kind of ruching detail right here. I'm not sure if that's going to come out or not, um, but I'm not sure if that's the right placement for it because it's like right here, or if it should be right here, which would give it a much better fit. But um, I think if I go up to a large, it is going to be way too big in here, and these straps would never stay up. But it is a beautiful, beautiful shade of teal, I think, on the right person. This is going to look adorable. I put it with the white pants, just uh, jeans, just to show the color a little bit better and to show the detail of it. Again, I think it's really, really cute. I just think that maybe the fit's not right for me. But let me know what you think, and I will be right back. I think I've got two things to go. Alrighty, and next we have on the Naked Zebra. This is a small. It's $32. It's uh, tied right here, all snapped right there. It is a wrap right here. It's got this extra little fold right here, kind of like a lapel. It's all gathered right in here. It is lined so that kind of goes up right there to look like a front tuck and then it's a little lower in the back and like I said it is fully lined. It's got the three-quarter sleeves. I love uh, navy with, with white jeans. It's a nice polyester, so it's not going to wrinkle. I don't, I don't know. I think I like it, but I'm not too sure on the fit in here. So I think that's what's stopping me is I just seem to have trouble across here with things not going 
up under high enough under the arm so it pulls but I, I don't think it's anything I can't live with because I've lived with it all my life but anyway let me know what you think and I've got uh, one top to go and before the last shirt I thought I would put this lush top back on with some jeans to see if I liked it any better so this one's uh, got the v-neck it's a dolman it's got this little front knot so the dolman's got the uh, kind of drop sleeves a little bit longer in the back Alrighty, so let me know what you think of this with the jeans instead of the skirt, and then I'll we'll be back with the last item. And last item before the recap, and this is by Spotlight. It's the uh, V-neck, the uh, leopard print, animal print top. It's got a V-neck. It is a wrap. It's just got this uh, one little modesty snap right here, and uh, this is as far as it wraps. So it's a uh, doesn't wrap all the way over it's right there so I think if I were to keep it I mean definitely I would probably have to maybe put a tank under it put a little snap right there to help keep that closed or maybe some two-sided tape um, this is a size medium I think it does have a good fit it's gathered right here a little bit lower in the back sleeves are good the arm holes are good I don't have bat wings bit closer so you can see what it looks like it does have like a nice rich tan in it some black and then maybe some some pink next to it alrighty so I am going to grab everything for a recap and I will be right back and welcome back for the recap and my this always seems to run longer than I, I plan to I'm gonna to have to try to work and figure out how to shorten this up for you guys so anyway this first item is the uh, Liverpool the camel leggings they're nice olive and brown dark brown and black really love these these are the Liverpool Reese uh, the ankle leggings uh, they're a size 6 they're $89 and um, supposed to be slimming to the tummy and slimming to the thighs but where it wasn't hugging my thighs they're not fitting like leggings so as funny as it sounds I think if I were to keep these I would have to size down to a four to just uh, see how the, the fit is on that and I think that would fit in the thighs better next we have the naked zebra and this is the Poseidon one-sided folded neckline surplus top in size small this one is $32 it's got that extra material right here that's folded it's got it's us uh, sewed right there and it is a wrap it is fully lined front and back and for the price it's really nice and I don't really have too many tops that fit me anymore but I'm afraid to buy things because they fit or I'm settling so I need your help on this I did like it with the white jeans I'm just not sure of the fit across here and it's like things just don't seem to go up high enough in the armpits for me that area right under here so things kind of pull on me so but it is a nice top it's a it's a nice price it's a pretty color I do like it with white jeans so let me know what you think about that next we have the lush top and again this is showing like a bright purple but to me it's fuchsia but on my uh, sheet they are calling it a bright purple it's a dolman dolman style it's got the v-neck this is a size small and it's 34 dollars i didn't like it with the skirt when i actually when i came up with the skirt i kind of felt like the flapper era in the roaring 20s so that was an interesting look there it's got this little knot detail right here i did like it better with the white jeans i think i would like it better if it wasn't the this is like that polyester that kind of feels like a crepey material or a crepe material i think if this was even in this color but was like in a soft soft t-shirt material i would like it even better for jeans but let me know your thoughts on that next we have this adorable top and this is by pinch and is it is the teal sleeveless v-neck shoulder so it's got v in the front 
nice V in the back. I said it was embroidered, but it's really not embroidered. It's just this extra material that's uh, sewn on both edges and then gathered right here. So that's an, a really cute detail. I think this part of it here probably went up too high on me to have the right fit. I think it is really, really cute. I think this uh, was a polyester and a tensile blend material, so it is a nice material. And the price on this, I believe, was $49. So it is a really cute fit. I like the way that it had the uh, longer sides, but I just don't think it was the right fit on me. But beautiful, beautiful color. Next was the first Jilly dress I tried on that's got like the deep V in the front and the same V in the back. Uh, nice waistline, pretty shade of navy with some pretty purple flowers. I would wear it with either that cami that I had under it or something like that. I think it's got, it's like a real feminine, like a fe real feminine romantic look to it. I really like the fit of this dress and this was $42. And I think that, I think that was a keeper. Let me know what you think. And again, that does have that little flounced line at the bottom to give a little bit of fun movement. I got the midi skirt trying to go in order. And this was by Lily. It was a size large. Um, it's a really cute skirt. It's got this really long flounced hemline. It's got the little split in it. It did have a slip in it. Um, again, this one was too large, but if I don't know if I would be a small or a medium in it. And then I've got this one, and it's $34, so it's not a bad price at all. It is a really cute skirt. But I've got that problem. If I don't have something right away to go with it, it ends up just sitting in my closet and not being used. So more than likely, this will be going back. And next we have the other Jilly dress. And this was like the mock wrap in the front. It's got the tie here. But it, um, even though it's attached, it is a uh, full wrap on that. It's got the short sleeves. It's a pretty pattern here. It's got maybe some apricot, maybe some smoky gray, dusty blue or something mixed to it. And this one, I believe, was $46. This one was a small. This one fit a little bit tighter across the back um, than the uh, medium did on me. It had the high-low, so where it wrapped, it was a little shorter in front and then longer in the back. I think it's a cute style. Um, kind of got mixed emotions. I'm, I kind of like it, but I'm not sure about the fit on me. I'm not trying to lose any more weight. I never really set a goal for myself for weight. I just wanted to get to a place where I felt comfortable and I think I'm there, but I do need to tone. So maybe in the toning, I'll lose a little bit in the back. Well, it would be nice if I lost a little in the back. So then it would fit better. So let me know your thoughts on that. And last is the top that I left on. And this is a Spotlight. It's a leopard print sleeveless. It's got a V-neck top. This was a medium and it's $39. And again, this one does have a nice pattern to it. It does have um, the modesty snap right here. But again, it's, it's open right there, that skin right there. So it's not really a wrap wrap that would go all the way over. I think it's easily fixed with a snap or tape or just wear another top under it. I don't have bat wings, but I don't know. Maybe it is big in here, but I, I don't know. So let me know your thoughts on that. So all together, it is $360. The 25% uh, discount, if I buy five pieces or more, would be $90 off. So it's $270 for eight pieces, which I don't think is a bad price at all. So I've got some thinking to do, and I feel bad uh, getting this posted when I'm so far behind in responding to people, but I do always appreciate your comments and your helpful advice. So anyway, I want to thank everyone for joining me tonight. I've really had a fun fun time showing, showing these clothes, how I think I would wear them if I were to keep them. And as always, I appreciate your comments. I hope that it's Friday night while it's Saturday morning. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. So I hope that everyone goes out and has a fantastic weekend. And we will chat again soon, everyone. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.